this, uh, this next video is of a project I did for a school district um, south of LA. They, they were having some T1 circuits installed for a new phone system. And um, uh, this one particular school had a big problem with, with, uh, with their cabling. The main reason is that their EMPO, where the, the T1 is uh, fed in, was practically on the other side of the campus. They had uh, an existing network, network location on one side, and for some reason it all got moved to another side. And they had the cable company, they had the, um, the local exchange carrier, all both provide tons of fiber feeds directly into this room but no copper, so they still wanted the T1 from the other side to arrive there. And uh, I'm going, there's there's not a path to do that, why don't you just use fiber or something like that? And um, what uh, what the, um, the IT administrator told me was, you know what, I've got all this conduit recently put in, big, large conduit, why don't you just ride one of those um, into the network room? And I thought, great. So we, um, we checked it out, found a bunch of cable vaults and what I'm going to show you guys uh, in this coming video is some of the issues we found with working in cable vaults um, and and some of the uh, problems that I hope help you not to do them or or um, know what to expect I guess um, or maybe it was just me you know complaining and pissing and moaning about dealing with this stuff. Anyways, I wanted to at least give you an intro into this next video, and um, yeah, by the way, if you're a bit queasy about bugs and spiders, um, you might want to skip this one, and uh, if you enjoy watching people squirm, show, them, show it to them, I guess, and I didn't realize this until I started watching the video myself, there's bugs all over the place on camera, um, which is one thing you're going to find a lot of when you jump into cable vaults. So, uh, if you're okay with that, enjoy! Working in this uh, cable vault, wanted to point out some main issues here. So the purpose of a cable vault's cabling is to keep the lines above ground and run them around the perimeter. That's because people are going to be entering this vault in the future. They're going to have to put ladders, they're going to have to walk here, and so you don't want to run lines directly across the floor, like these schmucks did. Here's our coil right here that uh, we've pulled so far from here and we need to go into here. So we're gonna follow like we should around here. You can even see here that someone did it properly, but not these schmucks. So now when I stick my ladder down in here, I have to be very careful not to uh, ding or damage or even touch these lines of it at all possible. Urgh. If you're running your zip ties over existing zip ties, 
uh, don't do that. Uh, this is this was just a temporary one, just to uh, hold the run in place while we pulled it, so it would follow the way I wanted to go. But this was this is by no means going to be the final uh, situation. I'm going to pull the uh, pull the old zip tie out and run a new one. It's going to look just like this when it's done. Don't be that guy. Just stacking the zip ties. Another no-no here. This guy left pull string secured, which was thoughtful, except he left it secured to fiber optic cable. Uh, I mean, I'm sure this stuff is tough and uh, it'll, it'll survive, but really guys, don't tie it off to cable, tie it off to structure. Yeah, it's more work, but it's the right way to do it. So we're pulling pull strings in the cable vaults and um, one of them just kept coming. And I realized it was just a big pile of leftover pull string that they just left at the bottom of the vault. Not cool. This is the uh, cable vault we just pulled all of that pull string out of. And it's already a cluttered mess in here. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that with my body taking up space, but yeah, it's, it's not cool when um, you leave trash in here. It's not cool when you make it difficult for the next technician just to enter the area. You would uh, have to be an incredibly selfish person to, to not imagine some schmuck's going to have to come in here after you. Really frustrating. There are cables just run in every direction in here. It's very difficult to, to get a foothold uh, without potentially stepping on fiber. It's difficult to get a ladder down here without damaging anything. It makes it very difficult to get in here. You can tell there were guys who did it right, but way too many that did it wrong. Well, it's been, um, let's see, about an hour. Um, and you know what? I, I just couldn't, couldn't leave it as it is. I had to do the fiber ninja thing and uh, clean it up. So this was the end result. Got the uh, cabling pretty much uh, cleaned up in here. Let's see if I can get another view for you. Again, the idea with cabling in a vault is you want the cables off the ground. So run them against the rails, run them around, but get them off of the ground. That's where you're gonna put your feet that's where you're going to put your ladder, and uh, yeah, so don't do that. <laughs> so I've got this uh, vault not cleaned up. I've lost an hour of time, but the fact is I put my name on my work, and um, I was the last one here. So I'm going to clean it up. Holy cow, so much easier to get the ladder down into this vault without having to kind of weave it in and out of fiber cables, hoping I wasn't actually still going to wind up putting all my weight on one of the cables at the bottom just because I can't see through the mud what's there. So much nicer to just be able to drop this ladder in knowing that I'm going to hit the ground and nothing else. So um, this, this pleases me. I, I don't mind the extra time uh, put in and um, yeah. Well, as much as I was able to clean up the one vault, I was hoping to be able to do the same uh, with this one. I, you might have remembered me talking about these lines that run diagonally. Uh, we were trying to see if there was any slack maybe back at the far end or the other, and we couldn't find any. And honestly, if I'd have found uh, like a service loop of any kind, I probably would have pulled about two or three feet of, this, uh, of these, five, these six lines back and uh, run them along the other fibers just to give them that extra slack. And uh, yeah, it would have cost me some time, but it bugs me to leave them like this. Yeah, here's a classic example where the original cable was nicely secured and the new cables came in and they just stacked on the zip ties. And I gotta run my new cable through it. So I'm taking all this out. I mean, I'm already here. I already got my dikes. I don't see what's stopping me. It ain't that much more work. Took pretty much just as long as it would have uh, if I hadn't uh, taken all the zip ties out. Not very much longer anyways, a few seconds I suppose. 
As I've mentioned in, in a few of my videos, what I like to do is once I've cut the zip tie end flush, I'll roll it if I can uh, to keep them out of view. Is that so hard? I've, I've run my cable and I've left the old zip ties in place just to... Yeah, man, they didn't even trim them flush. Anyways, they've left them in, I've left them in place just to hold things uh, while I do things, but I still have to come back and, uh, you know, cut these guys flush. So I'll move them out of the way and then just cut this guy out. I mean, I'm already here. What's the big deal? Oh, make it nice and tight. A little flush cut. Push it out of the way. And grab it. See? No big deal. You just work your way through. All right, so I've got my line uh, run, stressed across, and uh, my I, I ended up terminating right here on the top two pairs uh, coming from here. So I could have run in right here and stopped, run over and in, but that's not the Fiber Ninja way. So I ran down all the way to here in the back, ran it across and up. I also left, as you can see, plenty of slack and the other two pairs if, if needed. So I've got a service loop. I've got plenty of length if I ever need to re-terminate or relocate. That's the way you want to do it. Well, here's the uh, finished termination at uh, the network room here, uh, opposite of the, the EMPO where this T1 feeds in. Uh, we had a lot of slack here, and uh, I didn't feel like cutting it. I just decided to spool it up with something you could kind of... Yeah, there we go. And it comes out over from the conduit over there. Anyways, um, yeah, a couple of, a couple of uh, wall tie-downs right here, and then cleaned it up. So, yeah, got a lot of slack here, a couple of connections, and uh, there we go a successful T1 install. Um, my takeaway from this is uh, being the way I am is expensive. It costs me time, it costs me money, but I, uh, I definitely sleep better at night and I definitely have um, more satisfaction in, in the work that I do. And um, that's, that's a price I'm willing to pay.